We're currently in Deir el Balah and we are in one of the tents area. In this area where hundreds of Palestinian refugees came here and are internally displaced after the Israeli forces asked areas like Nusayrat and Maghazi to evacuate from those areas. As you see, it's totally dark. We're using our own lights to walk through the tents and this is the only way these Palestinians have light and can cook food and we have been seeing a lot of tents lighting up fire and because they do not have cooking gas they do not have any type of lighting for warmth and to cook food other than putting coal and using some wood to light up fire it's very cold uh, most of the people do not have winter clothes because when they evacuated from the northern areas and from other areas across of the Gaza Strip, they evacuated without any winter clothes. And at that time, the weather was very warm. Some families told us that they do not even have wood to light up fire. And as you see, some people do not even have wood and do not have coal and cannot afford it and they are in the tents but despite the fact that they are in the tents they are telling us that the tents are very weak and they do not have a plastic coverage and it's very cold for them inside all of these people had their houses had their memories had all of their belongings and they were forced to leave everything away this is Hindal Khudari for Al Jazeera Dar al Balah now, as we reported, we, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel should take control of the Philadelphia corridor on Gaza's border with Egypt. The corridor is a 14-kilometer uh, strip of land on the southern tip of Gaza. We're going to talk more about this now with Gaudat Baghdad. He is a political science professor at the National Defense University. His expertise includes e Egypt and Palestinian-Israeli conflict. And he joins us now from Washington. Thanks very much for being with us. So uh, just talk first of all uh, about this this corridor because it may not be familiar to um, uh, a lot of viewers and, and where it is and what, what is the purpose of it. Thank you for having me. Basically, Gaza is surrounded by Israel on one side and Egypt on the other side and the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, to a great extent, all movement are either from the Israeli side, which has been blocked for many years, or from the Egyptian side. And uh, for many years, uh, Egypt has allowed humanitarian assistance to Gaza through this corridor. So this is what uh, the um, Israeli prime minister is, is asking for. What do you think is going to happen here? I, I don't believe it will happen. Uh, there is no way Egypt will accept uh, Israeli forces to take charge of uh, this corridor. And it will be very hard for Israeli forces to uh, control the corridor from Gaza side because it is in the southern part of Gaza, very far from Israeli borders. So uh, it will be uh, logistically very hard for Israel to maintain any troops on this Gaza-Egyptian borders. If we look at the bigger picture here, what does this tell us about Israel's uh, military operations in Gaza right now and where, where things stand with that, that he is, he is asking uh, for Israel's control of, the, of this uh, stretch of corridor? I believe I can make two points here, my understanding. First, uh, United States and Europe and many countries have been putting pressure on Israel to end the military operation and not to occupy Gaza. Uh, my understanding, Israeli government is entertaining the idea of occupying Gaza, at least for some time, and uh, this will not happen because occupation means resistance. And the other point, uh, by talking about uh, Israel controlling this corridor, it shows that Israel does not trust Egypt to control the corridor. 
And this is very bad because Egypt and Israel have been working together for many years, and there are no uh, complaints about the peace treaty between the two countries. But this statement by the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu shows lack of trust in Egypt. And Egypt, I'm sure, will be very angry uh, reacting to this statement by Netanyahu. Good to get your perspective on this uh, Gaudet uh, Behget. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you.